Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Rubel. Today we will learn how to make a connection between WordPress website and MySQL database. Last video we learned how to add WordPress website in the MAM server. So you must complete that steps before you continue watch this one. I will add link in the description so you can complete the previous steps and continue with this video. Uh, let's get started. As we know, our website name is demo. Let me open C drive. This is the mem. Now, if I go HT docs, this is our website. Next, I'm going to start server. So I'm going to click on mem. I scroll down and click on launcher map application. Click yes. So click on servers. Start. It will start Apache server as we already learned previous video. It will first trigger Apache server. It will open the browser. Also, same time, it will trigger the MySQL server as well. So I'm going to minimize this one for now. I'm going to remove MEM and, and add our website name here, demo. So it will take a few seconds to load. Now click continue. We are going to open MySQL that we already download. Click on MySQL Workbench. Click on MySQL connection. Name the connection. You can you can give any name you like. Leave port three three zero six host name this. Now click test connection. So pro provide the password. So make sure when we install, download and install MySQL server, we create a password. So you have to provide the same password here. So let me see the password. What password I use? So it should be on download. Okay. Yeah, my school credential. So I'm going to copy this password. And enter here. Okay. So successfully made the MySQL connection. Click OK. Click OK. So database instance has been created. Now click on click and open that the dashboard. Here I'm going to create a new database. So you see the icon here. Click create and name the database demo yeah just provide demo you can name anything you like apply apply finish demo database has been created now if i expand right now table is empty So now I'm going back to the browser. This is the, our browser. The required field we have to provide is database name, database username, database password. So we know database username is root, password also we uh, we know this is the password, MySQL password we have to provide. Database host, database host, we can provide the local host. 
and number five we will leave it blank i mean the we will leave it the defaults so click let's go so this is the database database name is demo username is root password is let me copy the password and leave local host like this and also wp i'm not going to touch this so click submit run the installation so if you see this page or previous page so that means the database has been successfully integrated with the wordpress website now what we are we are going to do we are going to give the title um, of our website so i say demo username you can give any username so i will provide the username as root password is root since i am running is local i don't care about the strong password confirm use a weak password and you can provide any email it doesn't have to be valid because we are running local so i would say root one two three at gmail.com it does not exist but it's okay so click install wordpress now click login username root password is root click login now we are going to validate like our username right we have only one user and this user as admin so if we open database now refresh click on tables right click on the user select rows we have on root here we are going to create another user and validate that user exists in the database or not so click on user add new username root123 email root123 at gmail.com first name mike um, you can say mike i don't have to provide the website root again confirm use this so let me provide him as a um, admin add new user new so we have a two admin user here if we go to the database run this query again i should see two users so our connection between our wordpress website and mysql has been successfully connected okay. thank you